Hey guys, so uh, just jerked it. Don't put that in there. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, dig it. You're watching Game Shop Adventures. Yeah, best show there is. Past, present, or future. Ooh, yeah. The madness is running wild. Yeah, the cream of the crop will always rise to the top. Yeah, the World 1 1 crew. Coming at you, brother. Dig it. Let's start the show. Oh, yeah. Game Shop Adventures. AJ in the building. What's up? So we are right here at our new location. What's up, you punk? I got a cookie in my hey, left. Guys. What? Hey, what's up, you punk? It's a little lay. Yeah, I'm, I'm so going to. I'm going to. I'm going down my new stairway. Wait, uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the attachment to come in. Ah. I can still see you. You can't see me. They yeah, you can. You can't see me. Well, at least there's lights over here. Hey, right here. Hey, right here. Hey, right here's making my on it. Stairwell confession. Stairwell, uh, all stairwell confessionals. Hey, uh, so today was a little rough. Uh, you know, we moved a lot of stuff today. Uh, I was very sick. A lot of coughing, a lot of phlegm coming out of the nose. STD. ST no. <laughs> Oh, you're right, let's do it. I think that the GoPro kind of got more parts. This is it. Inception. This is what they call it. YouTube Inception. Yeah. I'm filming you, you're filming me. That's hot. Okay. <laughs> That's, hot. <laughs> That's what I do is I make my stuff go from PG-13 to R and I make it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> double time. Double take. Double take. I like the new, I like the new. As you can see, we're open today, but we're not really entirely done. Oh, there's my arm. With, uh, with moving, so we're doing a real big soft opening. Too sweet, big A. Big went to a Dodger game. Yep, and also went to uh, your mom's house. You also, you also went to my mom's house. He said he got good breakfast. <laughs> so Big A and I right now, we're dealing with the PS1 sorting. It's a nightmare as is a lot of this sorting. We got Super Nintendo, Virtual Boys, Super Godzilla, Hulk Hogan. We, we got a lot of stuff going on. As you can see, we got like, our wall of... Uh, oh, of it's the Mario! The Mario's it's a Mario! Back. Don't forget, he still has a street fight with Rob, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you later. I just, uh, I wonder if that's working yet. Uh, I just got done uh, cleaning the bathroom for the old shop. Oh, we got, this is in front of a live audience, so anything can happen, you know. Uh, you know, just drop your questions and concerns in the, uh, in the comment box here on the video. That's kind of about it for me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you know what? I got I got no shame. I'll look I'll look behind me. I don't care. Up, break his neck, break his neck, beat him up, beat him up, break his neck. There's no more shop here and I don't care. We moved to a bigger spot like three days. Oh my god, Mortal Kombat, oh my god. Look at these boxes, oh my god. I just fell, oh my god, oh my, that's, I'm like in one of those moods you're like, eh. Hair guys, hair guys, Flintstone. Huh? Trumpo, baby. But yep, we're about 80% done at the new shop. And we're about 80% done moving everything from here. So yeah. Yeah. All the figures right here and more. <laughs> That's what he grabbed. <laughs> uh, uh, get away from me. Ha <laughs> ha! It's just, it's just that. Yeah, oh it's I've been working on it. Sit up. Yeah, baby. Yeah! More? Is it hard? hard. Yeah, this yeah. isn't fun. This floor <laughs> hurts. <laughs> I put my elbow on. I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> This is concrete. Yeah, this well, carpet there's, doesn't do any there's justice. There's no foundation, it's just floor on concrete. Carpet on concrete. All right, let's go. What's up? Nothing. How much? I'm currently cruising Spotify to find out what song to play here in the store. And uh, yeah, I just chose one. The lighting's way better in here. The lighting's better to see these. <laughs> Rolo to the rescue. Rolo. So security guard. That's a, yeah, it's a security guard here at the mall. If you ever watch this, Rolo? That's me. I'm always thinking about you. I'm always thinking about you, Rolo. I didn't even know your real name, dude. You just saw R and then your last name. And I was like, dude, Rolo. You look like a Rolo. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. What's going on, guys? It's Rudy, man. Uh, so, sorry we haven't filmed that much. Been really busy trying to move into our new shop or our new location. Check it out. Look, we got some standees right here, posters. You know, we got our sign. We're going to get a better sign in the future. Um, this one doesn't really fit where we are, but it'll work for right now. Some more standees. And let's just go in and take a look, you know? 
And just know um, we got this up and running in a few days, so this isn't a finished product yet, but I think it looks pretty nice. So, you know, we got the register, brand new games, PS4, Switches, Xbox One, you know, we got little wallets and stuff. And if you look now, you could actually physically pick up a game and look at it and see if you like it. You know, before they were behind glass, so now we can pick them up and it's all cool, you know? The PS2 games are all right here. Original Xbox are in that island. We got PS3, we got Nintendo Wii. Let's see over here on this side, we got the Nintendo GameCube games. And this is the heat case. This is where all the, the pricier games are. The games that I really like to have, like the showpiece games. So they're in this little showcase, which is nice. And we're trying to use as much of the slat wall as we can. And right here with Alex, we have our retro side. So, uh, you know, he's right there holding it down with the biggest arms in the world. In the world. We got some Genesis games. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. We got... Shining Force 2 is in there. No, yeah, Shining Force 2 is in there. We got N64. Look at AJ's right there in the back. Got some Super Nintendo games back there. Some more Super Nintendo games. And we're selling donuts now. All donuts. Go nuts. Oh, those, those don't look good. I, I <laughs> those don't look good. Uh, we got some Nintendo games, some boxed ones. We also got box systems up top. Oop. Let's see, back here, more Nintendo games. Nintendo games, we're testing this is a little test area right here. Also where our camera system is. We have PS1 games. This is how we rearranged all our DS games now and Game Boy Advance games, so they're pretty easy to see. Back here in this showcase, we have more uh, more of our consoles that are ready to go. And in this display, this is more of our obscure stuff like Jaguar, CDI, TurboGrafx-16. We also got you know more 3DS games and DS games over here. And we got a couple of displays here. Yeah. Just holding a bunch of merchandise. More PS1. More merchandise. And then on this side, we got all backpacks, 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 a bunch of figures, anime DVDs. We're gonna have, you know, lunch pails, like a bunch of different stuff. T-shirts, purses. Yeah, I mean, pretty much anything that you could have, we're gonna try to have, or as much as we could fit. We still have a little bit of room left in the store, but we have a back area too, which is nice. But yeah, see, like more sweaters. We have robes. And look over here, we have like a huge wall of pops. And these pops are great sellers for us, so we're happy to have them. We got some hats over there. We have more displays, plushies. And also we have these mystery boxes, the same type of mystery boxes that you would find at like Anime Expo and everything. We have them here for sale. So uh, yeah, real quick walkthrough. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll get some more uh, Game Shop Adventures out there for you. All right guys, so one of our first uh, trade-ins at the new shop. Um, we've had some other stuff in, but we, we were so busy we had to get it out, but this is one I could actually record. So this is what we got. We got Shrek, yeah. <laughs> Zelda Oracle of Ages CIB for the Game Boy Color, great. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. It's really cool to have both of these uh, complete in box, really nice. We got Atlantis, we got Shrek, Tetris Worlds, and we have a pink complete Game Boy Advance. So cool, let's keep on going. For the PS3, we got Thief, Call of Duty World at War, we got Call of Duty Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Conan, let's see, Army of Two, NBA Live 08, NBA Live 08, Mortal Kombat, Sega All-Stars Racing, Battlefield 4, Thor, Black Ops 2, Dead Space, Star Wars Force Unleashed, Street Fighter 4, Rise of the Argonauts, <laughs> uh, that's Little A coughing over there, Dying. Dying, Jack and Daxter Collection, the Assassin's Creed, the Americans Collection, uh, Far Cry Primal for the PS4, what is this? Soccer 2012, 2011, Final Fantasy 13 2, 360 games, Red Alert 3, NASCAR the game 2001, Madden uh, 25, what do we got? Do Sex, and let's hear all that tape. 
Uh, little A's over here getting this PS3 ready that we just got in. Tested, ready to go, refurbished. Did a good job, thank you, my man. All right, let's keep on going. We also got a Nintendo in. Great work in Nintendo, by the way, with all the hookups. And look at here, Turbo Graphics 16 Turbo games. You'd never see this type of stuff. Thank you, Greg, he brought these in. We got Ordine. Oh, Metopia, this is like a Zelda clone game. Really fun, I love it. Vigilante, Victory Run, Pac Land, Keep Courage and Alpha Zones, Galaga 90, Parasol Stars. So, this is like uh, Bubble Bobble 3, pretty cool. Ninja Spirit, Legendary Axe 2, Bonk's Adventure. He was like the mascot for the Turbo Graphics 16. We got Deep Blue. Blazing lasers. I honestly think this is my favorite shooting game, like uh, my favorite shmup of all time. Really fun. <laughs> Alien Crush, Bonk's Adventure, and the Legendary Axe. So good games. Let's keep on going. We got Monopoly. We also got Maximum Carnage, Street Fighter 2. We got a Genesis game, Air Buster, and the cream of the crop, the best game in this lot. We got a boxed Chrono Trigger with the manual, all that good stuff. It's going to be in the heat case, so this is a great game to have in the box because a lot of people love Chrono Trigger. This is a great game. If you haven't played it, you need to play it now. What are you waiting for? Come down to World War One and get one now. I'm gonna get something I've had for like the better part of like six times this month and it's like really bad for you and I don't care because it's so good it's like steak fries like french fries and they put beans nacho cheese meat tomato jalapeno lettuce sour cream meat cheese meat uh, like whatever salsa you want, meat, and uh, it's on top of the french fries and it's delicious. And there's meat in it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever he said he was right. I've yeah. had them before, pretty good. You've had like several of them before. I've had several of them. I'm, I'm gonna get lie. one right now. I'm gonna get one right now, baby. Here's, a, here's another character that comes by every now and then. Mike Bosch. Mike Bosch. <laughs> so you auto parts. That's what, that's what your name sounds like. Oh, shit. Mike Bosch, Bosch auto, auto parts. parts. <laughs> Where even the guarantee is you a guarantee. Like spot, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, it's Rudy. So if you guys don't know, unfortunately, we wanted to make all our spot all retail. So we had to get rid of our arcade machines. So we have arcade machines uh, scattered around. Now we're going to be walking to the old shop real quick and in there we're going to have Jesus and uh, he's working on the crazy taxi changing out the caps. You, you okay Jesus? You still alive? You still alive down there? Are you grounded? Yeah, you got to be very careful that way you don't get electrocuted. So uh, he's... Oh, is it already done? Um, no. Not yet, but I got it going. Let's check it out. Oh, it looks clean, but it turns green sometimes. Yeah, that's why I reduced it in because I'm thinking it's not your cap, just the actual um, but, but, resistor uh, for the cap because there's the RGB, right? The yeah, red, the RGB. You hear that? And the green and then the blue. Oh. I think your green might be out because I'm not the, I'm not too sure. Either that or I got to solder it in. Like, well, a lot of times it'll look good right yeah, now. It's like right here. I don't know why. Yeah, but a lot of times they'll look good and then over time it'll turn green, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, your brother would just push in the, the chips, he said, and it would turn back good, but then it'd be... Like yeah, we'll get it back. All right, but Pooser, he's back in town. He's back. 
Yes, Back on GSA, he's over here fixing stuff. Trying All to like fix stuff. <laughs> trying to fix stuff and not kill himself. Yeah, that was the, the protection latex. Yep. Always use protection, folks. Yes, All right, it's Rudy here with some more trade-ins. We got another uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Already tested it, wrapped it up. He used his trade credit towards uh, Haunting Ground on the PS2. That's kind of a rare game. So he, we got this for trade and he used the trade credit towards Haunting Grounds. Got some NES games, Mario Duck Hunt. Mario Brothers 2, Mario Brothers 3, and Zelda. And uh, I love those games because those are quick selling Nintendo games, you know. Hey, if you have those, bring them in. We got Harry Potter for the PlayStation, Frogger, Crash Bash, Spyro the Dragon, Legend of Dragoon, a pretty good RPG, a uh, Crash Warped, Crash Team Racing, and Atari Anniversary Edition. All right, just opened up. Uh, we opened up at 10 o'clock in the morning. There was a guy outside waiting for us. He had a bunch of games to trade. And I'm glad he was waiting for us because we got some good games that uh, we could always use. And uh, he was quite shocked at what, how much he got. He got well over, I think he got like 160 for all these games. But he, uh, I think he was only expecting like 50 bucks. So he got like over triple what he expected. So he got a Hey You Pikachu, complete. We got a... Pokemon Stadium, also complete, comes with everything. We got Zelda Wind Waker for the GameCube. There's a Pokemon Stadium. We got a Star Wars. Then we also got Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Pokemon Red. Super Mario World. We got Pokemon Platinum. Let's see, uh, Pokemon White. Pokemon White 2. Pokemon Black 2. Pokemon Black. We got Heart Gold. Pokemon Dash, hey. Pokemon Pearl, it's my sister Tanya right Hi. there. <laughs> we got Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, Zelda Oracle of Seasons, Zelda Oracle of Ages. So yeah, he came in, got a lot more than he expected and I'm glad too because these games are all great selling games for us. So pretty cool. Hey guys, how's it going? AJ here, back from a vacation. <laughs> I know you guys are going to laugh at that. But uh, yeah, I just got back yesterday and today's Monday, so I'm back to work, ready to do everything at the shop. I'm just relaxed, I'm really relaxed. I need to get pumped up, but I'm too relaxed. But yeah, the store's looking great. I mean, look at all that. All the games, all stuffs. But I'm, ha uh, I'm happy. I like it. I'm happy. Feels good to be back again. Let's do it. Let's do work. Let's see what kind of fun we can have today. So, to show you the size difference, one second, you're going to see how big it is. So this is the front of the store. <coughs> Man, I can't even talk right now. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. It's the front of the store with the glass. So, once I raise it up, look how big it is. The store is huge now. Yep, pretty cool, huh? The PPU. The PPU. This is what processes the graphics. That one over here? Yeah, this is the computer. Let's go. Do you think it gets the background the fan? Not that much. It's not like I hear it, but it's not too bad. What's up, Big A? How was your vacation in Baco? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. Had a relaxing time. Yeah, how was Felix the cat? Felix's cat was fine. I had a lot of great conversations. <laughs> yeah? When I mentioned that, you, you weren't answering. <laughs> no, because I was next to Stacy. <laughs> I was like, oh, Stacy's already told him nothing. The cat sung the Meow Mix song. It was nice. I was giving you the stare, the glare. Does she want to bring the cat back? Yeah, yeah, she always does. So how about the, the liberal? Oh, the liberal. <laughs>
all the trap. It's all empty. Look how small it is. <laughs> Dude, it, when you're over there and you come back over here, it looks tiny as hell. It looks real ridiculous. Well, and then, then you as, know, as soon as... Yo, oh! Let me crown you. Oh, all right, man. Thank you. Oh, look. I graduated. That's my GP. Look, Jesus. <laughs> He's going to come save and resurrect this crazy, you know? <laughs> crazy taxi. Oh, man. Let's take a look. Basically, oh, this is the back area. Oh, whoa, we did a 360 there. Sorry about that. But look, it's all. We're taking down the cameras. That's it. That was a shot. <laughs> now that you think about it, it really wasn't that big, AJ. Heck no, but we made the best out of it. Yeah, look, the windows were nice. We got some people that are throwing up, <laughs> they're throwing up gang signs over there. <laughs> or was that peace? That was peace. Oh, I thought he was throwing up gang signs. You know Santa Maria. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the old shop. A lot of great memories here. Big A, real quick, I know you're working. What's your favorite memory here at this shop? You can't say? Oh, <laughs> no. It's like rated R. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 bucks is 20 bucks. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. We'll just keep it at that. It's kind of an inside joke. <laughs> Little A. Alright. Little A is not with us today. He's at Disneyland. Well, what would be Alex's favorite moment here, you think? Hey, one thing I will say. Right over here, we have Macy's right next to the old shop. And man, people still from Macy's crazy. We would be washing and people would run off with clothes and run, run right out of the mall, which is messed up. It's kind of sad for our city that we have people that want to steal. But yeah, we used to see a lot of people steal from Macy's. But uh, yeah, closing, man, this is old shop. We're finally cleaning up. We're getting everything out of here. And uh, yeah, the shop was good to us, but we got to go on to bigger and better things. Say hello to the bad guy. Alright, I'm not very good at impersonations, but I'm very happy that we got some games in for Trey. Sorry guys, I'm exhausted. You are exhausted. You're exhausted, I'm exhausted, your mom exhausted, everybody's exhausted. Wait, is that deja vu? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch that episode, not too long ago, <laughs> Really? Yeah. Alright, this is what we got. We got Yoshi's Story for the N64. We got a Mario Kart 64 and it says real cool. It's a real cool version. It's pretty cool. Then we got PS2 or PS2, PS3. We got NBA 2K 12, Uncharted 3, and Plants vs. Zombos. I right, got some Super Nintendo games. Donkey Kong Country 2. We got Aladdin, Lion King, Cool Spot, Mario All Stars, Mega Man X. Mega Man X was developed by Capcom and released for the Super Nintendo in 1994 in America. It was the first Mega Man game for the 16-bit console and the first game in the Mega Man X series. It is a spin-off of the original Mega Man series that began on the SNES's predecessor, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or also known as the NES. This wasn't just another Mega Man game with better graphics, it was a complete reinvention of the franchise. X was an all-new Mega Man character, sleeker, faster, and edgier than the original Blue Bot. He introduced longtime Mega Man fans to a grittier, more futuristic version of the cartoony world they come from from the NES world. And the gameplay got some significant changes too. The core of the design was still focused on running, jumping, and blasting enemies through a set of 8 stages you could play through in any order you wished. But X also introduced more advanced maneuvers like dashing, wall jumping, and on the fly weapon swapping. Mega Man X was a commercial success. The SNES version has sold 1 million copies and spawned two more Mega Man X games for the Super Nintendo, Mega Man X2 and Mega Man X3. The game is considered one of the best for the system with its great graphics, killer soundtrack, and tight gameplay. If you've never played it before, you really should play Mega Man X as soon as possible. It's a spectacular action experience, a great transition of the 8-bit Mega Man series into a separate and satisfying 16-bit saga, and just a total blast all around. And you can't call yourself a Mega Man fan unless you played this game. So come down to the shop and check it out.
We actually just sold one of these today, so it's good that we replaced it. And look at this, not one, but two Sunset Riders. We had a lady come in, she traded these in. I thought we gave her fair store credit. She hasn't used it yet, but she's gonna use it in the future, but we got two Sunset Riders. Can you believe that? Crazy, great games to have. Woo. All right, Black Ops 3 for the PS4 and Xbox One. We sell this like hotcakes. I don't know why people seem to like this version, but we got it in. Deadpool, MLB The Show 15, and Infinite Warfare The Legacy Edition. All right, cool. Got some more Super Nintendo games, some good ones too. Final Fantasy Tress, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. Let's see, Lester, Lester the Unlikely, Final Fantasy II. Aliens vs. Predator, Super Mario RPG, Let's see Maximum Carnage. Oh, nice! You last for that one. Yeah, all the time. Super Mario World, uh, Mickey Mouse, Super Punch Out, Battle Toads Double Dragon, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 1, and one of my personal favorites, Castlevania 4, Super Castlevania. Great games. Finally, to finish it off, we got some Nintendo games. What is that? I, I can never pronounce that. Abadox. 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 Let's go with that. Wolverine. Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh, ghouls and Ghosts. Ghosts and Goblins. Sorry. Yo Noid. You remember when this used to be the, the Domino's uh, mascot? Hey, oh, Big shoot. A, you remember Big Yo Noid? Yeah, and that was Pizza Guy Adventures as an official mascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Simpsons, Bards vs. the Space Mutants. Alright, well. Uh, a Steinax. Yeah, a Steinax. That one you pronounce it. We got Dragon Punch. Or Dragon... What? Why am I mispronouncing it? I think I'm just reading the first word. Dragon Punch. Dragon Power. Donkey Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Turtles. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And look at what we got another one. Woo! Another Bucky O'Hare. We've had a few of these traded in recently in the last heat. few months. Yeah, but great, great game to have in the shop. Great trade-ins. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We enjoy it. We need the trades. Keep on bringing them in. Keep on bringing them in. All right, Rudy, we moved everything. Rudy, what the heck is Rudy? Rudy, we moved everything from the old shop. Where the heck is he? Man, I can't believe how long it took. Where the heck? Rudy, I don't see him. Where the heck is he? Oh God, Rudy! I surrender. <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> you read my white flag. <laughs> you all right? For the last two, three weeks, uh, about yeah, about 15, 16 days, I've been working 14 hours, 15 hour days, trying to get this stuff ready. Oh, when man. I mean I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man! I hope you guys, our customers, really enjoy the new spot. Me and the team, or the team and I, we've really put in a lot of work and literally, like, we did everything that we could. I mean, us being a small mom and pop shop, I mean, I, I really think this is the best that we could do. So I hope you guys liked it that have come by. If you guys have any suggestions, let us know. But if you come by the shop and I seem a little tired and everything, Trust me, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just really tired. That's all. I just need some good sleep, like being able to sleep for like 20 hours straight, and then I'll be good. Yeah. But uh, uh, unlike Big A, who just put a, put together his desk and then took off for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So moving, the rule of this moving sucks, <laughs> and we're not gonna move again. This is <laughs> the last move. This is the last move. <laughs> World Blood One isn't gonna move again. If we get too big for it here, we're opening up another store. There we so. go. Who knows, one year from now, maybe World 1-2 opens up. There we go. All right, later, Rudy. Take care.